Excavation is the process of moving earth, rock or other materials to create space for construction. It is an essential part of many construction projects from small residential homes to massive skyscrapers. Like the foundation of a building, proper excavation ensures a safe and stable structure. Before any construction begins, the ground must be prepared. This often involves digging down to a certain depth, creating a hole or trench. The size and shape of the excavation depend on the project, but the principles remain the same. Safety, stability and precision. Excavation is not as simple as just digging a hole. It requires careful planning and execution to ensure the safety of workers and the integrity of the structure being built. One of the most critical aspects of excavation is achieving the correct levels. This means digging down to the required depth and ensuring that the bottom of the excavation is level. The depth and level of the excavation are determined by structural engineers and are crucial for the building's foundation. If an excavation is too shallow, the foundation may not have enough support, leading to cracking, settling or even collapse. Conversely, if an excavation is too deep, it can be wasteful and costly to fill back in. Achieving accurate levels is essential for the stability and longevity of the structure. Ensuring proper drainage is another critical aspect related to excavation levels. Water pooling around a foundation can compromise its integrity, leading to structural issues. Therefore, excavation must consider the flow of water and implement proper drainage solutions. Different soil types have different properties that affect how they behave during and after excavation. Understanding the type of soil on a construction site is essential for selecting the appropriate excavation methods and ensuring the stability of the excavation. For example, clay soil is known for its ability to hold water. While this can be beneficial in some circumstances, it can also make clay soil very unstable when wet. Sand, on the other hand, is much more granular and allows water to drain through it easily. This makes sand a more stable soil for excavation, but it can also be prone to collapse if not adequately supported. Knowing the soil bearing capacity is essential in determining the load it can support. This factor influences the foundation type and the overall design of the structure. Geotechnical investigations help in understanding the soil properties and guide the excavation process. Section 4 Excavation Methods – Tools of the Trade The methods used for excavation vary depending on the size and depth of the excavation, the type of soil and the equipment available. Common excavation methods include hand excavation. This method is typically used for small-scale excavations or when working in confined spaces where heavy machinery cannot access. Excavator excavation Excavators are heavy construction equipment with a bucket attached to a boom and an arm. They are highly versatile and can be used for various excavation tasks. Backhoe excavation. Backhoes are similar to excavators but have a smaller bucket and a backfill blade. They are often used for digging trenches and other narrow excavations. Trenching. This method involves digging a narrow, deep excavation, typically for installing pipes or cables. The selection of the appropriate excavation method depends on factors such as cost effectiveness, project timeline and site accessibility. Sometimes a combination of methods might be used for different stages of the excavation process. Section 5 Safety First Protecting Workers Excavation work can be dangerous and safety should always be the top priority. Common hazards associated with excavation work include Cave-ins. This is the most significant risk in excavation work where the walls of the excavation collapse inward, falling loads. Materials or equipment falling into the excavation can cause severe injuries, hazardous atmospheres. Excavations can accumulate toxic gases, creating a dangerous environment for workers. To mitigate these risks, safety measures should be implemented, such as shoring, supporting the walls of the excavation with timber, hydraulic systems or other materials, sloping, creating a sloped excavation to reduce the risk of collapse, benching, creating a series of steps or benches along the sides of the excavation, atmospheric testing, regularly testing the air quality in the excavation for hazardous gases. Section 6 Real World Applications from Foundations to Tunnels Excavation is an essential part of countless construction projects ranging from simple to complex. Here are some real world examples. 
Building Foundations Excavation is necessary to create a level base for a building's foundation, ensuring stability and preventing settling. Road Construction Excavating for roads involves cutting and filling to create a level surface, often requiring extensive earth moving. Utility Installation Trenches are excavated to bury utilities such as water pipes, sewer lines and electrical cables. Tunneling large-scale excavations are necessary for tunnels used for transportation, water management and other purposes. These examples demonstrate the diverse applications of excavation in construction. The scale and complexity of the excavation work vary depending on the project requirements, but the underlying principles of safety and precision remain paramount.